So here we are in sunny Norway. It's a beautiful day, so I've moved outside for this little project. Hopefully, little project. Snow's melting nicely. And here we have my non-disc ready Isis 26 inch Nimbus. So I have no, I have the hub that does not have a disc mount on it. But since I've ended up with these Chris Holm Spirit cranks, which are for the Chris Holmes that have the disc mounted on the crank, I decided I'm going to put a disc brake on this by using the Spirit crank and the Nimbus D brake. So, so far I've pulled this crank off, it's the 137-117 and I've screwed on a uh, reverse components 180mm disc, of course it ends up backwards so you don't get to see the writing on the disc because of course with the Chris Holm system everything goes on what is actually the wrong side for a disc brake so everything ends up sort of backwards. So I screwed that on and screwed that and screwed the disc on. Uh, one word, if you're going to do this, I spent most time here searching for bolts that fitted and cutting them down, because neither the disc nor the cranks came with any bolts. So I didn't have bolts to screw the disc on. So a bit of a mix match, but it'll be just fine. I found something from other projects, and then I got the D brake on. But, and I've got down here a Shimano MT201 left hand, that doesn't really matter, I don't think. 1000 millimeter, so that's a front brake. Um, disc. Here, see. This is post mount, and that is IS. I think it's called. So we are missing an adapter. And so I think if you were to put a 160 millimeter disc on here, then you would simply have to buy a IS mount caliper and it would go straight on. But with the 180 disc and the post mount caliper, we're going to need an adapter. So I'm pretty sure my local shop's got one. Got to run and get one and then see if we can progress. So my local shop, which is Sport N Revital, has come good, I hope. It looks right when I measure it up. This is a IS to post mount adapter and it says that it is for rear 180 millimeter. So hopefully I've tried my best to to line it up and put the loosely fit the crank and see that everything fits and it looks pretty good. So I guess I can just Break this open and screw it on. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I've done a trial fit with the D brake and this adapter and my caliper, which ends up like everything else with the Chris Holm solution back to front. And in terms of in terms of position on the side, it's perfect. So there's no issue there. That's perfect, but you can maybe see I'm missing about, I'm just about five millimeters too far out. So I think I'm going to have to modify my bracket a tiny bit. I think I can just cut a tiny bit off here and here and just adjust it in. I think that should be fine. Um, I'm just going to try the bracket the other way up, but I'm pretty sure I've got that right. I'm pretty sure it'd be worse if I turn it the other way up. But we'll give it a test and just see 
otherwise it's off to the workshop to adjust this carefully. So after a bit of careful modification with an angle grinder and a file and a vise, doing my best to keep it all square. I'm happy now that the brake caliper fits. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way in where it should go. So that looks good. So now I can bolt that on. Well, there we are. Crank fixed back on. The brake fixed with the back bolt tightened up first according to the instructions. The modified adapter from IS to post mount fixed on and the caliper fastened down and centered and happy that I've got the right amount of padding contact. Looks good. And then perfect. So now I just gotta get my bracket under the seat and go for a ride. There we are. One this brake on a non disc prepared Nimbus 26 inch is taking me a bit longer. It's almost dark now, so I better tidy up quickly than I hope because uh, I had to modify that bracket, as you know, and it's been a little while to swap around seats. I've moved the QX seat that was on the 26 inch onto my 36 inch and the Chris Holm that was on my 36 inch has gone on to the with the short seat post has gone on to my 24 inch so my 12 year old son can use it and I've had to swap the seat post and the Nimba Stadium from the 24 inch has gone on the 26 inch complete with brake handle and a little bracket that comes with it just to fix up the cable there one meter was plenty of uh, Plenty long enough, even for people with much longer legs than the seat height, it's still plenty. So, there we go, job done. Now, it's time to find some steep hills. <laughs>